Welcome everybody to the Home of Free Reaction video. I will be talking through what I think I like, dislike and thoughts. So, hi everybody, now we have some time to compile, sit through and think about the survey results from the initial fig campaign. We want to share some of the findings about how it will impact the ongoing development of Homeworld 3. First, let's talk about a little about game development. Uh, you can see it all there. I oh, by the way, I haven't backed it yet because I haven't backed any of the uh, backers because I wanted to know a little bit more about the game first. So here we go. your feedback, and how it shapes the game. Characters. It was important for us to find out how important characters, factions, and ships truly are to the fans of Homeworld, and we received a ton of awesome feedback. Some of it expected, and some pleasantly surprising. We all know Karen's a jet is an internal part of the Homeworld flavor, so instead, we wanted to look at the factions identify means to you. Yeah, Karen is an important part of it. Without her, the Kushans wouldn't ex wouldn't have left. Without her and her bravery, none of the Homeward Cannon would have been made, except for the Desert's part. The good guys won out with the Higarans, Ventuzi, and Progenitors coming out on top, far ahead of the pirates, and even the Tidat. Well, at first I thought that the Tidat, I, first I thought that the Progenitors weren't good guys. I thought that they were bad guys. Anyway, we believe this shows us how important the role of emotion and connection is, and it's something we want to focus on further with the hopes that we can recreate that same unique connection you have with the Higarans and Bentuzi alike. More surprisingly, it appears that ships are far more just important to you as characters, with the mothership coming in close second to Karen as the most important narrative element. How is it surprising? I mean, it's one of the most iconic ships in all of the Homeworld universe. How is that surprising to you? Yeah, though, I admit some people did jokingly call it the banana boat. But it depends which mothership we're talking about. Are we talking about the uh, Kusha mothership? The Higaran one? Or the Sontal mothership. Who knows? I think they're talking about the Higaran one, to be honest. With that, the immense mansion of Homeworld being so exciting to you, as well as your love for the ships, we've been busy creating new, amazing new ship designs that will build a strong sense of character and identity. Story. Homeworld story has always been its bread and butter, that's true, but we wanted to get a better idea of what this means to you. The survey response was a great help, not only to clarify our decision, but to inspire us the way Homeworld has inspired all of you. FYI, I was the Homeworld backer. We believe that the narrative way was absolutely integral to the franchise, and you overwhelmingly agree. That's excellent. The ship's single player experience is something we always plan to f focus heavy on. It gives us a huge confidence to hear and read that this is what you want too. What makes us comfortable from a production perspective is that the prioritizing single player has always been the case of a homeworld development. 
we've been looking closely at previous homeworld games to really get an idea of the core elements that make it so unique. We also asked you that one of the most important themes were in the franchise. The top answers were exploration, redemption, and exodus. That makes sense. It was our expedition thing that started the homework franchise in the first place. So yeah, it was a good idea. We agree, and we're working hard to make a narrative, to craft a narrative that really speaks to the true homework experience, and to all of you. On top part of the survey, we asked you what narrative elements spoke to you the most. Amongst the tops were monoliths which told us you found environmental storytelling to be not only exciting, but a fundamental part of the homeworld experience. We aim to take this franchise further than ever before. We're excited to share that we've been busy building massive, integral environments, using monoliths that would be truly immersive to you, universe, and story. The backgrounds... And the ones I think I prefer are the Homeworld 1 backgrounds over 2. 2's fine, but Homeworld 1's much better. Gameplay. We wanted to make... We wanted to get an idea on how the gameplay in Homeworld spoke to you. As a non-traditional 3DS... 3D RTS, the game doesn't mirror any others. And we feel it's important to know what drives your wish to keep playing. We were curious to see how each, how important element, important certain gameplay features were to your experience. What we found was a love of strategic and thoughtful playstyles, such as selfie and cloaking. Obvious. We were thrilled to hear that because we were working on super, several super exciting features that had far that are too early to discuss in detail today. But we know we're going to love. The only two things we know are the salvage corvettes and the marine frigates. And all that stuff. As we push interaction with the environment further, we were realising the amazing gameplay interactions this has. Combining with the ballistic system we are building, it will offer the player even more strategic options in gameplay. As they use the environment itself to take cover and hide or gain an advantageous position over the enemy. We're also exploring new ways to navigate through the 3D environment using objective related in movement. For example, click on the underside of an asteroid and your ships will position there beneath it. Click on the top side, and that's where it will take cover. Should I unlock new tactics while feeling Still feeling intuitive to the mouse. As mentioned earlier, your feedbacks on the importance of the single player experience, the story is loud and clear. We want to be clear too. Our first priority is making an amazing homeworld single player experience. While we are focused on the core campaign, we are also looking at what it means for multiplayer. We believe that by crafting an alternative game mode, we can bring the game to new levels. As such, we've been exploring how best to take this experience to you. We have some exciting ideas in the works, but we'll talk about that later in development. Wrapping up. There's a lot more to this survey than we're sharing today. The rest we plan to discuss alongside meaningful updates to the game itself. Speaking of which, we plan to share updates with you once a quarter for the remainder of the game's development. Things will probably pick up in pace during the final year ahead of the game's release. But for now, we need to spend most of our time heads down and building the foundations of Homeworld 3. Please have your thoughts on holidays and feedbacks on the post below. We have more to share in 2020. Have a great holiday. This is Fleet Command signing off. Homework Development Team. Wow, we've only found things already. Now then, I'll be back and I'm here to discuss my thoughts.
with you right now. Well, what did I think of that update? Honestly, I felt like it was going to be... Honestly, I didn't know what to expect, but after reading that, it's clear that Get Blackbird Interactive knows what they're going to do with the... It's clear that they've got the entire homeworld fandom right behind them. Although it does raise some interesting questions. One of the interesting questions are, is Rick discovered by the Discord community down below, was that the... And one of the questions I ask is, was the progenitors ever a good guy after all? Because it seems to me like they're implying it was. Well, I'm not so sure. Anyway, I hope, like everybody else, that we discover the entire what the progenitors were up to. I mean, they've got it. We've got an entire galaxy to explore, and, and yeah, as much as I like the Vega, the Tidan. Or the progenitors of Kadesh to arrive. No, not Kadesh, that would be stupid. I think it is time for us to battle a new enemy and a new foe. Discover what the progenitors were up to. Well, like they said. Well, like what they said, what they like what they said was they considered the janitors to be good guys. I'm not so sure. Well, it turned out that they were good guys disguised as bad guys because they were. Talking about the uh, progenitor about destroying Makan and the Vega. That's only if you reverse it. Anyway, I'm rambling on way too long now. I hope you like this video. Yeah, I know it was a, a lot of me talking about the fig campaign but for me it was worth it this is Brookhammer Brook signing off next video would probably be update 2 have a great day leave, leave a like subscribe comment and have an awesome day in the Homeworld Universe. Bye guys.